got married in the backyard to put new strings in my old guitar. The E was flat, the A it stayed sharp. I had no idea at all how happy it would make small. And how drunk you and I'd get before dark. Good morning. My lovely bunches of outs. Welcome to today's video taking my prenatal vitamins. Today is cycle day five. I've officially finished my period. I need to go take an ovulation test. I'm gonna take my vitamins, so I have a lot in here, and I will show you guys what I'm taking. So, Garden of Life, vitamin code, raw prenatal vitamin. I've always taken this. It doesn't make me nauseous. It's a whole food multivitamin. I take that, and then I also take one of these bad boys. It's the Ocean's Bombs prenatal DHA, and then I do take this while I'm ending my period, just for a few days. It's the raw probiotics vaginal care uh, probiotic. I just feel like it does a good job of just kind of like regulating my body. New things I'm taking, organic wheatgrass tablets. Look into these folks, even if you are not TTC or pregnant or trying. Um, they have like incredible health benefits apparently, but Google it and make sure that you can actually take it and ask your doctor and do all that kind of stuff. Then I'm also taking some B6 as well. And then I'm also taking yucca as well, which is supposed to be really good for fertility and just like regulating your hormones. I'm trying to take some natural stuff because my period and my cycle has been really just odd recently. Coffee. Um, and so there you go. So in the morning, I have found my body without food can handle one of these wheat grasses, one of my prenatal, and my DHA. So I will start off in the morning taking those three, and then I will work through the day taking the other ones. The wheatgrass feels like I've literally put a barn in my mouth, but you gotta do what you gotta do for those little babies. Let's go take an ovulation test. Good morning, sir. Good morning. How are you doing? Doing well. That's good. Yeah, I'm feeling better today. Good, that's good. I think everyone is pretty much feeling better, even though this one's super cuddly still. You okay, bud? What is uh, going okay. on? Okay, you haven't been coughing as much, which sounds great. Alrighty, here we go. <sighs> Occupation test one. Okay. Let's do the deed. Okay. Cool. This ovulation test, there's not going to be like a positive, obviously, because I am um, only on day five of my cycle, but I do want to start taking them because I am using the Premom app. This is not sponsored. Um, I just really like their tests and their app works really well to like track things. You can take photos of the ovulation test and keep kind of like an electronic thing. I need to get like a notebook so that I can track the tests also like in the notebook. So there you go. I added it cycle day five and then it will tell you the test result is low and then it will actually tell you high and then it will tell you peak and it'll, basically it'll tell you when you get in a positive ovulation test. Okay guys, we're going to the zoo today. This is what I'm wearing. This is actually Dan's tank top that is in a size large and then I just put it on and I tied it into like a little tie and there you go. That's what I'm working with today. Nice and cozy since it's gonna be, what, 97 degrees? 97 degrees. Missouri also can't decide whether they wanna be humid or not. So, yeah, it's like, wet! Okay, let's go. Train. 
we got him. I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you. We do this every day, and I'm still so amazed by you. day we are leaving this beautiful house here in Kansas City and we are heading off to our next destination let me just check to make sure that no like packages or anything arrived last night nope we're good let's see go in this door nothing I think we're good guys did you guys secretly pack away anything in here that I need to know about nope all right, you guys ready to travel? What, let me see your dress. That's the dress you want? I wanna, I wanna get it in. In the car? Okay. You got some tape, dude? Yeah. Okay. All righty. See, we're in the car, we are leaving. First we have to go to Walgreens because I'm not, I'm not that great <laughs> at this. Like I'm getting better every time that we pack, but I keep forgetting, like, so I saw our medicine bag and I separated all of the stuff that we'd want to put into the car, but then I forgot that I did that and I think I just packed that second bag also. So I have to figure out where that is. So every single, I need to just buy, when we get to South Dakota, I'm just going to, when I find the medicine, I'm just gonna take it all and walk directly to the car and just put it all in the glove box and just call it a day so that's not an issue anymore. Um, and if you're curious what I'm talking about, it's Dramamine, like the child safe version because uh, Cooper gets really sick in the car. So, and I do too, so I take it as well. We're curious when I'm pregnant, can I take Dramamine? I don't even think I Probably would. Probably don't need to, because you not get sick in the car when you're pregnant. That's true, I don't get sick in the car when I'm pregnant. Isn't that weird? It's gonna be the opposite now. I'm gonna get like, violently ill every time we're in the car just cause, you know, just so happens to be on a road trip. You said it was the last time, but you keep coming back to tell me. Sorry that you take back all the things you said just to hurt me. I just went cold, but I'm still burning. I love just went cold. Why? Alrighty, so we have two hours and 45 minutes left of our drive. We had like what five hours and 18 minutes that we were driving. So we're doing pretty good. We haven't really like officially stopped yet. Um, we stopped to go to the bathroom and that kind of stuff. Um, we also got like coffee in the beginning. That's pretty much it. We've just been driving straight through. We're in Iowa. 
looked at the air quality. We're gonna be there in seven minutes. So we're in Sioux Falls now. And it says the air quality is 198, which is like really bad. It says it's gonna get worse. It's gonna go to uh, over 200. Tonight and tomorrow. Right? Yeah. Are we supposed to stay inside? I don't know. Build my walls up, but you're taking the 